What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Day in the life with Speedy Gons. My name's Josh. Today I'm going to do an updated video on Beamer Co. Just, I've done some prior ones, but I'm just going to do like an updated, you know, walkthrough on what you need, how to run procedures, how to run codes, and just, you know, the overall process. I'll show you guys the interface. If you're new here, definitely go to the bottom right of your screen, click that watermark. Please subscribe, I'd be very much appreciative of that, so definitely go smash that subscribe button. I know I've done prior videos, so I will link them up here. So if you found value in those, give them a thumbs up. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, and let's head out to the car. So it's kind of funny, I've been noticing how I clean the car, for some reason it's always dirty somehow, even in the carport, and I've been noticing my neighbor's cat has been using the car, it's her, his bed, it's his car now, I think I featured the cat in one of my prior videos, such a good little cat though, I actually had to catch him about to kill a little possum yesterday, so... Shut out Speedy Gone, saving the possum's life. Really? That best part of the day. That first cold start. <laughs> Alright, so as usual, we're going to be using the V-Gate iCar Pro. I know there's a bunch of different adapters that people will use. I've used this one just because I got the car eight months ago. I got this to start coding my car, and I've had literally no issues, nothing, no headaches, no nothing. So I'll link that down in the description below. This is what it looks like. Definitely, definitely good bang for your buck. I mean, it was only like 30 bucks. So the app we're going to be using is Beamer Code, like previously mentioned. This is an app on the App Store. This is the app on Play Store. When I first bought this app, it was 30 bucks. I checked again. It has now gone up to 35 so clearly people are downloading it. People, clearly people are using it because it's valuable. It brings value to the table. It's giving people access to something that would normally cost a lot of money. I mean, coding cars is somehow somehow so expensive when, you know, we can do this ourselves. So, obviously that's something, you know, we should all be doing. This is definitely an app that's highly recommended. I mean, obviously, you know, there's precautions. You want to be careful, do your research, know what you're doing, but it's definitely well worth it. So, I'm going to go ahead and add in the screen record right about now. As usual, Always code in airplane mode, always code with your seatbelt on. There's a mechanism in the seatbelt that, you know, it makes sure that the ECU is staying on. That's what we want to make sure the ECU is on. So, put the car in accessory mode, that is stop start one time. You want to kill as much power as possible. Turn the lights off, turn the air off, connect to the car. So, we're in a BMW Series F22. Click connect. This is where you got to be a little bit of patient. You know what they say, you know, patience is a virtue, just be patient, the car's got to recognize the ECU, it's got to, you know, recognize the VIN, so the reason why I'm not just going to speed through this so you guys can see firsthand how long it takes to, you know, connect to the car, like what everything is, so I'm going to show you guys the interface, and yeah, so I mean, any, you know, comments, questions, concerns, just drop that down in the comments below and I will get back to you if you need help, any questions, I got you guys. So I'm going to stress again, always code in airplane mode. You just don't want any interruptions. You just, I've heard some, you know, scary stories of people running too many codes at once and frying the ECU. So, you know, I hope no one has that issue. I've heard it happen before. So just no reason, no reason to be alarmed. I'm just letting you guys know. So this is the interface. This is 
it's everything is straightforward you know the main interface is all the codes that are just you know relatively straightforward it's it's really when you get into expert mode is when you really have to be concerned of just like being cautious and knowing exactly what you're doing expert mode is all in german so you really need to know what you're doing so but i mean yeah the interface is great i mean i've recently implemented the air conditioning code where i turned off the auto memory it's relatively just straightforward i mean you can I, I pretty much learned on my own, as well as having some help from YouTube. So I got to shout out Thick F30. I'll link his YouTube below. His channel is phenomenal. He's always posting just valuable, phenomenal, really good content on his F30. So he's pretty much what inspired me to do this. But it's just simple stuff. I mean, be able to customize your car the way you want it to. So, I mean, if you want to go in and change something, it's simple. You just go in, change whatever it is, hop right out. Make sure you're still in the module, hit code at the top right. Yeah, and that's that. I mean, you don't want to hop out of the module before coding because then it won't implement. But then it's as simple as the car will recognize. It'll be a, a quick little coding procedure. If the car's uh, instrument cluster and iDrive system will light up. It'll say code complete and you can hop out. So I'm not actually going to do that because I want to keep that code off. Pretty much the biggest module is the FEM that one takes a while to load up so I won't hop in there but mostly everything you're gonna want is in the FEM the front electronic module is the biggest module but I'll show you guys the head unit as well it's just Beamer code really just gives you the access to just unlock what BMW just for some reason won't give you from factory it's just a bunch of little things that you know you would think with an expensive car a luxury car that they would just give you these features but they don't for some reason from factory but it's okay because with beamer code we can unlock these features that are pretty much already in your car just need to be unlocked so for one of my favorite codes and i made a video that i will link up here is the startup animation just i love the startup animation it's one thing that when you code you'll realize it doesn't always pop up on the iDrive screen but when it does, it's so satisfying. Because like, it just gets boring every now and then. I mean, I got my car. It was bare bones stock. And it had the, the BMW connected drive. And it's just kind of boring seeing the same thing every day. So being able, to, being able to go in and just change it and have it be custom to whatever you're feeling. I mean, for Christmas time, there's this Christmas animation. You can do the Alpina. There's the Rolls Royce. I mean, there's just so many cool things. And then always remember, you hop out, hit code at the top right. So the way I code... I mean, everyone's peculiar. We're creatures of habit. I do it the same way every time with symbols. I mean, seatbelt on, airplane mode, just safety first, be smart first. But I always code one code at a time. I feel like that's not really a big deal. I mean, if you're in the same module, it's probably not a big deal to code multiple things in the same module at once. But I don't do that. I code one at a time. That's just me. I've seen people do it multiple at once. It's not really that big a deal. I just do that. You know, it's my own thing. But with the head unit, I'll scroll down a little bit. There's just so many cool things. I mean, if you can, if you have this feature in your car, you can activate video and motion, which obviously isn't recommended. But, you know, for passengers, it's really cool. If you have the updated iDrive, you can watch movies as you're going. It's just really cool. I mean, for most cars, stock, you start driving, and that feature would get turned off. But you can turn it on where video and motion will be activated. There's just so many cool things. I just can't stress enough. This is just something you... I think it's a must-have for your BMW. If you're not comfortable doing this, then don't do it. Simple as that. It's expensive to code. You know, Beamer code $35. The adapter $30. I just think it's so worth it. So we'll hop in the FEM. It's going to take a little while to load, so I'll show you guys. You know, it takes a little while because it's a big module, but this is where mostly everything you're going to want to code is in this module. So like I was saying prior... Any questions, any comments, any concerns, just drop a comment down below. I'll be as responsive as I can. You know, I got my own life, but as well, I mean, I'm trying to create some cool, valuable content for you guys. Just bring value to the table because, you know, when I first started my journey with my car, it was like I was devouring as much information as I could on YouTube. And I thought, well, hey, I mean, I've learned so much. Why not give back? I mean, why not be able to offer my own help because... I mean, I started where everyone else is, no matter, I mean, if you're a beginner or whatnot, I mean, I started in your shoes, and then I just learned as I went, and just kind of figured it out as I went, and I had to give a shout out to all the videos on YouTube for helping me, so YouTube is just, I'm a big fan 
of just bringing value to the table and you know video is just a great way to do that you guys can see who i am you guys can see you know what i bring to the table what i can do what i know and i can just help as best as i can and that's really what i'm all about i just want to be as authentic as i can and show you guys who i am and what i'm about and just bring value to the table like i keep saying so like I said as well, the FEM takes forever. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. It does. It just takes a while. It's a very large module. Once again, I'll show you. And it's just all super straightforward. I mean, you'll see everything you pretty much want here. And then, like I said, just not to reiterate, but expert mode is where you really got to know what you're doing. But for the few that I've coded in, I don't have this feature, but the brake force display I had recently got into... An accident, someone rear-ended me in the E90, so rest in peace to the E90, but the brake force display would have been beautiful. Instead of just hitting the brakes and, you know, the brake lights just, like, light up, the brake force display, it's just, it'll be a flash. So, I'm really kind of salty. I can't do that in the M235i. For some reason, it didn't work. I tried coding it. It went through. Didn't actually implement, but is what it is. A few of the big codes for me also were the comfort opening and closing, so... From stock, from factory, my stock car, I could use the key fob to lower the windows with holding in the unlock button, but if I held in the lock button, they wouldn't close back up, so you can go in there and change that. That was not active, I changed it to active, hopped out, top right, hit code, let it run the course, and you know, it's just these little things that... You know, it's, it's like your own self-gratification. It's stuff that most people wouldn't even know has been changed to cars. But when you go into it and you do it yourself and you, like, customize your car the way you want it to be, it really is just so satisfying. So I'll go in as well and continue to show you guys. I've also done the horn signal when locking the car. They're just, like, little things. Running the wah-wah. Actually, I don't know. Depending on where you're watching this video, you might not even know what wah-wah is. But if you're running into... You know, the supermarket or something, you're going to be two seconds and you don't want to turn the car off. I love that you can just leave the car on, walk away, and lock it, and the horn beeps twice. So that way you know it's locked. And sometimes you just want to leave it on. I don't really... It's like with the stop start. I don't really like having that just off and on, off and on. Sometimes I just don't want to turn the car off and on a hundred times a day. So I'll just leave it on if I'm going to be running in my house for two seconds or running into Wawa for two seconds. It's just... It really is just the little things. So then... There's just a bunch of stuff. Start engine without the clutch. I could implement that if I had the remote control start. So, like, in winter time, it's cold. You don't want to come outside. This feature, actually, beforehand, I wouldn't have been able to do because the car wouldn't start. But now that I can turn, you know, start engine without the clutch, it would work. So that's cool. I mean, if you got a manual car, that's something to look into. I've actually, myself, I've never really gone into the headlight cleaning at all. The indicators on, you know, when you flash and you unlock and lock. It's just cool little things. There's just so many cool things. So, for mirrors, if you have comfort access, you can use your key fob when you lock and unlock the car. The mirrors were, well, the mirrors will fold in and out. It's just, I keep saying it, the coolest little things that our cars have these, but for whatever reason, BMW doesn't give them to us from factory. So, you know what? Let's go do it ourselves, because I've seen websites of you know companies offering coding services and it's insane just off the top of my head uh they can change i don't remember what company i'm not really gonna like bash any companies but it was like one of the features where you can change the iDrive animation to whatever you want they were just asking 50 bucks and it's just like that's the one code 50 bucks for one code like nah you can do this yourself for 60 70 bucks and do all any code you want so it's definitely worth it in my opinion 100 percent recommended Scrolling down a little bit, I've never gone into the voltage monitoring, but I do know if you were to change the lights in your car, and I know a lot of people have asked this question because I've seen plenty of forums where when you change the, the car to LED bulbs, sometimes it flickers. So this is where you could go into the voltage monitor and change that because I'm pretty sure it's like when you turn the car on, the car sends like a test to the lights to make sure the lights are working. And with the old bulbs, it's like a... The voltage isn't high enough where it would flicker, but when you add in new bulbs, the voltage gets messed up, so it tends to flicker. So this, you could just go in and turn off and, you know, let the car know that you have new bulbs in there so it doesn't do that flickering. So that's something I know firsthand. My E90, when I added in the LED bulbs, it would do that. So it would be kind of annoying. I would turn the car on, and it would be pitch black, and you could just see the car, like, flickering off, like, reflectives, like, buildings or whatnot. 
So just like I keep saying, just so many cool little things. I feel like you can just go in here and scroll for days. So I'm just showing you guys the interface, but you know you can go in there yourselves and just look around. Like I said before, any you know any you guys need any help, just let me know. Any questions, concerns, just drop that comment down below, and I will be as responsive as I can and help you. There's a bunch of cool things we can do. I really haven't gotten into all of it, but once again, this is a well recommended app. Just do it. It really isn't nothing to be scared of. It's just it's a beautiful app. Well, that wraps up today's video. If you found value in that, definitely go give me that thumbs up. If you're new here, definitely go smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching another video, another day in the life with Speedy Guns, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.